Isaiah, come say bye. Go to your thing, sis. Always. I'll see you tonight. A lot of good people out there who we're gonna have to protect. All emergency services will be suspended. We gotta be prepared for anything. Your government thanks you for your participation. Hiya. Hello. You all right? Good, how are so you? So what's it like being back in London then? Um, it's beautiful. Uh, yeah. I think I brought the sun with me, yeah. for one. Um, and so it doesn't really feel... <laughs> Other than the fact that we don't have Santa Monica Beach, it, mm -hmm. it, the sun's here, so I doesn't really feel it's just it's home in it. How does it feel to have landed your first Hollywood movie? It feels amazing. It feels mm -hmm. amazing. I, I am truly and utterly grateful, and it feels like a huge achievement for me because when I set out to start acting, the aim was to get to Hollywood, and you know I'm at stage one of doing that, and I've been able to have my first break within that, and it's just onwards and upwards from here. So how did you find out that you was gonna be in the first purge? So what was the process like? Oh, the process. I did a, well, when I got the audition for the film, it was actually, it wasn't called the first purge. So mm -hmm. I didn't know what I was auditioning for. Mm -hmm. I did my audition, which was a self tape, which I was in London for in July of, of, um, of last year. And then I didn't hear anything back for like two months. And I coincidentally happened to be going to September to try again and push again and try and get some opportunities. And then I heard that casting wanted to see me. So I went like a week earlier and I did my casting with the casting directors. And mm -hmm. after the back of that, three days after that, they said, you got another round with Gerard, the director mm -hmm. on Skype. And I was like, okay, cool. They said, you know, like he wants, they want to make sure that you can do, you know, play an American and so stay in the accent and blah, blah, blah. And so we came on Skype, he came on, he was eating his cereal <laughs> and I was like, this is the craziest <laughs> audition that I've done. And he said, this is, this is not an audition, man. I just want to let you know that you're going to be a star in my movie, bro. Oh, wow. And the shivers and everything just started to, it was like, yo, this is crazy. And it, yeah, it, it doesn't, it still don't sink in, but mm -hmm. you're just, you're just utterly grateful, man. Just praise God. Yeah. So your character, Isaiah, mm -hmm. he's quite a serious guy and you as a person are quite jokey, quite fun. Mm -hmm. So is there anything that you do to get yourself into the character? Yeah, I just access my serious side, <laughs> really. Like, I think uh, because of, like, my comedy sketches and, mm -hmm. and doing so much within the comedy world, mm -hmm. like, people know me so much for, for that stuff. But I started off in drama. I started off at, at Brit doing Shakespeare and doing drama. And, you know, comedy is something which has allowed me to get my work out to the world because it has this vir virality thing. Um, but, you know, it, being able to switch up and, and, and do both is is where I pride myself in. Mm -hmm. And this was a great opportunity to switch up and and, and bring the drama to you guys. Mm -hmm. So the film's gonna be released on the 4th of July. Mm -hmm. So is there anything that the viewers can expect of the film? Yeah, this film is amazing. This is a great film. This is the, the the full film, but the first story of the franchise. And if you've you know come across the Purge series of films and you're wondering, okay, what is this film and why did this happen? This is the story. This is the first, the first Purge. This is the reason why. This is the experiment in which was launched. And you know, it was an amazing, diverse cast, a young cast, mm -hmm. a very new and fresh cast, fresh faces, and an opportunity to really give you guys something fresh and new. And Gerard has put an amazing take on this. And from the soundtrack to the action to just the overall piece and what he's provided us and what we've all been able to be a part of is something in which is it's phenomenal. And mm -hmm. if you don't see this film, then you're not gonna be able to take part in the conversation because there is going to be one. Yeah, definitely. So I'm gonna put you on the spot here. Go. So do you prefer horror or comedy? Which one do you prefer doing? Comedy. Definitely comedy. Yeah. That was a quick one, wasn't it? But then horror, like, there's levels of horror. Yeah, because like this, this, ty this type scary. of horror, this, like, this type of horror, I wouldn't classify this as like strict horror, mm -hmm. you know? Because so, there's more action. Yeah, stuff, this, you know? this genre to comedy, I would prefer this genre, but like mm -hmm. the crazy horrors, comedy. Why is that? Because sometimes it just gets too much for my spirit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> thank you very much for your time, thank you. <laughs> Anytime, thank you. Tonight allows people a release for all the hatred and violence that they keep up inside them. Citizens, this will be a tradition we celebrate every year. Join the first purge. Come say bye. Go to your thing, sis. Always. I'll see you tonight. A lot of good people out there who we're gonna have to protect. All emergency services will be suspended. We gotta be prepared for anything. Your government thanks you for your participation.
No one's coming to help us. After tonight, nothing will ever be the same again. They forgot about one thing. They forgot about us. What have I done? Run! Stay strong, huh? I'm coming. Just remember all the good the purge does.